Hello children. Now we are learning a physics lab experiment for 9th standard. This experiment is from the chapter Refraction of light at plane surfaces. The aim of this experiment is identifying relation between angle of incidence and angle of refraction. To conduct this experiment, the material required is a plank, white chart, protractor, scale, a semicircular glass disc of thickness nearly 2 cm, pencil, and laser light. The procedure for this experiment is take a wooden plank which is covered with the white chart and draw two perpendicular lines passing through the middle of the paper as shown in the figure. Let the intersecting point be O. Mark one line as NN which is normal to the another line marked as MM. With the help of the protractor, mark the angles from 0 degrees to 90 degrees on both sides of the line NN as shown. Now, place semicircular glass disc so that its diameter coincides with the interface line MM and its center coincides with the point O. Take laser light, send it along NN in such a way that laser propagates from A to glass through the interface at point O and observe the way of laser light coming from other side of the disc as shown in the figure. See here children, the laser light is allowed to passing through 0 degrees line and the light is passing from air to the glass lab and comes out again into the air. Here you can observe there is no deviation in laser light. That means light incidenting normally. Now let us place the laser light at 10 degrees angle. Observe the angle of refraction here. The laser light comes out from the semicircular glass lab and you can find the angle of refraction. Here it shows 7 degrees. Note the values. Now place the laser light at 20 degrees angle. Find the corresponding angle of refraction. Here you can find the angle of refraction is 14 degrees. Now let us place the laser light at 30 degrees angle and find the corresponding angle of refraction. Here it shows 20 degrees. Angle of refraction is 20 degrees. Now place the laser light at 40 degrees angle and find the corresponding angle of refraction. Here the angle of refraction is 26 degrees. Now place the laser light at 50 degrees. That means angle of incidence is 50 degrees. For this find the angle of refraction. Here it shows 31 degrees. Angle of refraction is 31 degrees. Note down these values. Now, when the laser light is at 60 degrees, the angle of refraction is 36 degrees. Note down these values and tabulate in the given table of form. Find sin i and sin r values for the known angle of incidence and angle of refractions. And also find the ratio of sin i and sin r for each and every case. And interestingly, you can observe here the column of sin i and sin r ratio is constant. Observation. We will get sin i by sin r as constant ratio. And this ratio gives the value of refractive index of glass. Inference, if we change angle of incidence in rarer medium, then angle of refraction in denser medium also changes.
conclusion. We can conclude that when light ray travels from rarer medium to denser medium, the value of R is less than the value of I and refracted ray bends towards the normal. Thank you.